In the meantime, as Democrat presidential candidates wrap up this week's debates, two leading candidates are facing criticism for their controversial position regarding immigration. One America Chanel Rion has this report from Washington. Democrat Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders, the declared winners of the first round of CNN's Detroit debates, both advocate for decriminalizing illegal border break-ins. Sheriff Bill Wayborn of Tarrant County, Texas, told One America News, this latest debate was the ultimate show of a party that refuses to respect law enforcement. Sheriff Wayborn, what did this latest Democratic debate tell you about the heart of the Democrat Party and where it stands? They talked about breaking laws, and as I listened to them last night, they are living in a bubble wherever they're at, and they're not facing reality on what that would do to our country. Sheriff, two senators stood on stage last night saying they would decriminalize illegal border crossings if elected president. Senator Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts said this. I have seen the mothers. I have seen the cages of babies. We must be a country that every day lives our values, and that means you, we Senator cannot Warren. Make it Just a crime to when someone Thank comes you, here. Just with almost 38 years in law enforcement for a border state that every day bears the burden of illegal aliens, what is your response to Senator Warren of Massachusetts? I want to challenge Senator Warren to go back and look at what she's really talking about down there. Those facilities that these people are in that we're being overwhelmed with are overcrowded. I think that there's no question, no one's going to argue that. But also that there's something else going on there, and she is part of the problem. Elizabeth Warren, on the crowded 10-person stage in Detroit, racked up the most airtime with Bernie Sanders just behind her for a combined 35 minutes. Both senators want to abolish laws criminalizing border break-ins on the grounds that women and children are not criminals. It is a tragedy that these children are being used as pawns, mostly by the cartel and by other criminal events. It is a sad thing. We need to secure that border, and I didn't hear her her saying that. I hear her and Senator Sanders saying we're going to we're for open borders and we're going to give them health care and free education. And I think that's uh, uh, that would crumble America. Sheriff Wayborn is concerned with how Democrats continue to demonize our law enforcement officers in border protection and ICE. What uh, legitimate uh, legislation have they introduced to stop the onslaught of people down here and to give the resources to our border patrol, which they've only cursed, just simply treating them like Vietnam veterans of the late 60s and early 70s. I, you know, these noble people that are doing our bidding and our a great job down there are just being spit on by these politicians. With Texas's Rio Grande Valley just breaking a record 300,000 crossings this year alone, Sheriff Wayburn is skeptical that Senators Sanders and Warren even realize the scale of the border problem America faces on a daily basis. How many is enough? What is their line in the sand where they say we cannot take any more? Uh, that would be my first question to them. Is it, is it 2 million? Is it 5 million? Or how about 10 million? And uh, at some point, I would ask them, at what point do we secure this border? What point do we say enough's enough, we can't take any more? And I don't think they have those answers. Sheriff Bill Weyburn of Tarrant County, Texas, thank you for speaking with us today. Well, thank you for having me, and uh, uh, it was fun to be with you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube, and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.